So the customer calls me, he goes, I hit some rocks with my lawnmower, bent my blade and it went to shaking and all. I put new blades on and it's still going shaking everywhere. I said, well, you just need to bring it on down here to the table and let me fix it for you. The first thing we want to do is get this belt off. You do not have to jack this up. You could lay on the ground and do this. We're going to go right up under here and I'm going to show you an easy way to get this belt off. Okay, so the easy way, just reach up under here, grab this belt on one side, pull it to you, your belt's off. Just that easy. So what I'm showing you on this mower, this applies to basically any mower out there, what we're doing here. So these are just the steps for this particular machine. Welcome back to Rayleigh Small Engines. I'm T-Bone, appreciate you tuning in. All right, next step, let's lower the deck. Just like that. All right, on these John Deere's, they got this little spring-loaded hitchy mow. Reach up under here and get this belt off and just slide it out from under there. Get it out of the way. Now let's go do the other side. Same thing on this side. Oh, look at that. You reckon he needs to clean this? Pull your belt loose. I just, what I'm doing is I just don't want the belt on these pulleys, okay? Okay, folks, so I took another camera and got you a side angle to look at this bolt. And what I did is I spun this around. It'll give you a little better view. If you see that little picture there, that's from the side. Now I'm gonna show you another thing you could do. All right, then you'll hold one blade, bring this one around. You'll notice the cutting edge on this blade is lower than the cutting edge on that blade. I can about get my thumb in between there. Now I'm gonna spin this blade around to the other side and you'll notice now this blade is higher than that blade. So then the same test here, I'm gonna flip this other blade around just like it, just like it, okay? Now watch this. Going back here, this blade's sitting lower now, this one here on, on your right. Now I'm gonna flip this other blade again. See, this spindle, over here is definitely, or the shaft is bent. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna put us a new spindle in. And I see Mrs. T is cleaning out all this debris under there, which should have been done. I'm not gonna mention the owner's name, but uh, his name, I'll give you his initials. His initials are Tony. So, <laughs> mm -hmm. so we gotta get all this cleaned out. We're on actually the other side. The, um, but the other side is the one we're going to replace. But you got to do that anyway to get to the doggone bolts. Well, let's see. Look at, there's the bolts. Thank you, Mrs. T. You're welcome. Be safe, folks. Put a jack stand up under these things when you got them jacked up. All right. Sorry about the noise there, folks. All right. Now, what I'm going to do... Now what I'm gonna do, let's see if we can get the little funky clip off. You just pull the outer edge. Can you all see that? Pull the funky clip off. Just throw it on the floor, don't worry about it. There'll be a washer here generally. Throw that on the floor so you can never find it again. Now all you'll do, lift up on the deck, pull the rod, Voila. Now in your case, you may not have a, um, a winch like I do. Um, you may have to pull your deck off, but all it is is a couple more pins right there, right there on the back. Just remove those and slide it out. So let me charge the battery, a couple drops. So you may, you're may you gonna need an impact or either you're gonna have to try to hold that blade under there, break it loose. Uh, I always use the impact. Uh, you might have a better one. I use the air one. Warm it up first, y'all. I'm just going to hold the pulley, see if I can cut my hand off. I always wear a glove. Don't do what I do. Ow, that was my thumb. All right, let's see if we can pop these loose. 
Let go. It ain't letting go, y'all. That one let go. Now we can get this mess out of the way. Let go. Let go. Thank you. Throw it on the floor. And guess what, folks? Now. There it is. So, yeah, John Deere. I'm not telling y'all all these sizes because you can figure it out. But it, half of John Deere standard, half of it's metric. They don't know what the heck they do with Bunch of big dummies. Ten four. Let's see if T-Bone got the right spindle. I wasn't gonna film this, Mrs. T said to. Let's find out. Cause this spindle I don't stock. And of course, we got it from Rotary. This spindle number is a 11531. Now did T-Bone get the right one? Let's see. Well, it's looking good so far, folks. Looks like winter, winter chicken dinner to me. Wee doggy, don't forget, you gotta start your bolt. You got a little rubber protective thing they put on there to keep from messing up the threads. Now folks, you'll see there is a grease fitting on these and you can put it this way, this way, this way, wherever. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe Steve Small Engine Saloon did a video on this. Um, but what you want to do right here, so when this is on, you can get in here with a grease gun and grease this. So position this over to the side right where it was and you'll be able to lift this cover up, stick your grease gun up under here and grease it. So we're trying out a new wireless mic today. Y'all let us know how you like the sound quality of this video. Hopefully it's a lot better for you guys. Our other one broke and the last video was kind of rough. So anyway, y'all check down in the description. I'll put a link to it so you can see what it is. And by the way, if you ever wonder what T-Bone does when I'm not fixing lawnmowers and stuff, go check out T-Bone After Hours. Be sure to subscribe to that channel. All right, let's get this spindle in, y'all. Where'd I throw all those nuts, you folks? I hope y'all paying attention where they went. There's two. Come on, get on the... Perfect. Now let's put this hitchy my bob on. Pretty simple, folks. Get on the nut. Somebody's gonna ask what the torque specifications is for this. You just give it a ugga dugga. You know, something like that. Slip your rod in. Don't forget your washer. Hopefully this will give you a little better view of this clip. See how that goes? And then you will wanna see if I can do it with my hands out of y'all's way. Maybe if I can do it like that. <laughs> y'all can't see what I'm doing. There you go. So when you go to take it off, you just basically lift that up and then there it comes off. So people ask me, customers come in here buy blades all the time. I can't tell you how many times I see them 
put on upside down. The way you know, nine times out of 10, you're gonna have a label on them. These don't, don't. But if you see these wings, this is your cutting edge right here. This is your cutting edge. It's like a knife like that. This side goes up. So you'll notice this bolt bigger than the hole. You wanna make sure it is centered on this spindle. See there? Now we put that up there. Be sure you hold this blade right there in place. Ten Roger. All right, let's see if it's right. Remember our test a while ago? There's our cutting edge right here and our cutting edge right there. See, they're nice and even. Now let me flip this blade around to the other side. Look at that. Nice and even. That bad boy is fixed, but watch, I got something else to tell you. Okay, sometimes you may not have a bent shaft, but you did hit something. You might not have warped that shaft. What can happen, this deck metal under here, this is pretty thin metal. It's not the thickest stuff in the world. And if you do this, what I just showed with the blades lining them up, sometimes if your spindle is good, you can take this deck off and you're gonna have to get you a, basically get a sledgehammer and hit one side or the other, uh, whatever direction to get those blades lined back up, front to back and side to side. Matter of fact, Terrell Dactyl, Terrell fixes all. He did a video on that a couple years. It's probably been three or four years ago. He did a good video on that where he got the sledgehammer and straightened out a deck. Okay, so I forgot to cut my microphone on and I didn't want to have to go redo this, so voiceover. Slip your belt right up under that cover and get it right back on the pulley. Just like that. Pull you a little slack back up for the other side. Should be easy. Now we're under the back side and what you want to do is go ahead and put your belt on the PTO. Now back on the left side, if you were sitting in the seat, you see that hole right there? That's three eighths. And all you do is take a three eighths ratchet or pull handle and put it in there and you can move your tensioner. Now with your ratchet already in place down there, you'll want to slide your belt, pull it up to the pulley, push that ratchet and walk that belt around that pulley. Just too easy. Well, I sure hope this video helped you out out there. We appreciate you tuning in to Rayleigh Small Linens. I'm T-Bone. Y'all come back to see us, click that subscribe button, ring that bell, leave us one of them thumbs up. Leave us a comment down there now. We'll see you next time.